Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey, a E93 M3. I was gonna buy one of those. Gang gang, getting a pretty dang like start today, unfortunately. I did get a little too tuned up yesterday at the lake, but we're headed to the shop right now and we are gonna slap some turbo stuff onto the FRS, so I'm excited for that. And yeah, I don't know how far we're gonna get, but we're gonna make some sick progress tonight. If you have not checked out yesterday's video, I'd recommend going and checking it out. We got a ton of parts off the car. Stock manifold, front pipe, over pipe, crash beam, air box, bumper, headlights, pretty much everything stripped down and we are ready to start throwing parts back on this thing. Here is the MAP exhaust manifold and every other part for the build. Couplers, intercooler piping, intercooler, oil pan, our turb ski. First thing I wanna get done right now is the new MAP exhaust manifold onto the car. And then I kind of want to just like set the turbo on here and see exactly where it's going to sit, how good it's going to look. It's really going to spice up this bay. I'm so excited for this build, guys. Manifold does not fit with this radiator fan on. So we gotta pull this fan off. I believe this piece right here is gonna come off as well. Coolant reservoir is coming off and then that should give us enough space for our header and for our turbo. Reservoir, center core support, and fans are off. That should give us plenty of space for our manifold and our turbo setup. Manifold's on, I'm gonna drop the car, and I wanna see this turbo on this car. That right there is a very beautiful sight. I've been waiting for that sight for a, such a long time. Sheesh, that thing's beautiful. All right, let me figure out where this freaking downpipe is gonna go. Obviously it has to go here, but it looks like there's not much space there. We may have to pull off a few other little parts to get that downpipe to fit down in there. Plenty of space on this side for the intake. Guessing the slim fan is gonna go here. And then coolant reservoir, not exactly sure. We'll figure that out here in a second. Let's see how this downpipe sits though. There's actually plenty of space for it. Perfect, that's easy enough. Dang, that thing looks sick. Let's find the gasket for this downpipe, get this thing mounted up with both of the O2 sensors, and then maybe I'll slap on the overpipe just to make sure it's gonna work. Actually, I'm gonna try it right now. I never made sure that the flanges are gonna line up with our eBay overpipe. The holes line up, but as you can see, the flanges are different size. So we'll make it work whenever I can find a place that has a two and three quarter or a three inch over pipe and front pipe in stock. I'll get that ordered up and get them slopped on the car. For now, let's get the down pipe on. Hmm. I am not seeing that gasket. That sucks. This gasket here is for the down pipe to over pipe, but we need one for the turbo to down pipe, which is not here. Down pipe is on, kind of temporary because we do need to get that gasket in there. I'm gonna go ahead and figure out how or where this oil feed line goes. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna pull that plug out right there on the top of the block. And they included, let's see here. We got the oil feed line right here. And then this is a little elbow. I think this guy should thread right into the block. 
and then connect to our oil feed line, which will then run to right here. Let's make sure that is the proper port and we can get that oil feed line installed. The line is the perfect length to reach right to the hole, but that hole is way too big for our elbow. So it must go somewhere else. I was thinking maybe right here where the factory oil pressure dummy light is, but then this line is not nearly long enough to reach all the way over there. So that can't be it. Hmm, where does this damn thing go? All right, I looked online on MAP's website for the servo kit and it does look like it goes on that plug that we just pulled out. And it looks like there should be some sort of an adapter, which I'm not seeing. So I'm gonna have to hit them up for that and see what's going on there and if it doesn't go there figure out where the heck it goes so with that being said let's move on to what should we do <laughs> there's so much to do i just don't know what to do let's get the car up in the air and get this overpipe on and then while we're down there we could possibly do the oil pan as well we got to swap the oil pan our factory one with this this aluminum one right here and this guy has the built-in bung for the oil return line So this is how the setup is currently looking. Nice and beautiful manifold to the turbo and then goes over to the overpipe. We do not have the front pipe, the piece that connects that and the cat pack. So whenever that comes in, we can get that guy installed. But I just realized something. We may have to pull this manifold back off to get our oil pan swapped out. There's some bolts that are like these two here. That'd be really hard to get to with the manifold on. So thankfully it's not fully bolted down yet. It should be only like two or three minutes to get that guy off. So let's pull that off real quick. If blood scares you, I'd recommend skipping forward a little bit. I just dropped the manifold and it got me in the leg. It's kind of, kind of gnarly. Kind of a deep boy. Ouch. Of course I had to do that. Band-aid is on. Let's pull the pan off. All right, guys, our oil pan is installed. Let's go ahead and get the manifold and all the turbo stuff back on it and see where we're at then. Unfortunately, we only had about an hour, hour and a half to work on the car today, but being that I am not sure on that oil feed line or we don't have the gasket for the downpipe, I'm not in like a super big rush to get this thing finished up like right now. And I also did just realize we have no way of controlling boost. I don't have a manual or an EBCS for this car. So I need to get that figured out. I'm gonna talk to the tuner tomorrow, probably bright and early tomorrow morning, get something overnighted. And then, yeah, we gotta figure out that gasket issue 
and the oil feed line issue. Other than that, I think we have everything else we need. So that is gonna be a wrap for today, guys. I know it was a super, super, super short day in the shop, but it is July 4th. So I do gotta go hang out with family. Drop a comment, let me know what you guys think of the build. This thing is gonna be so freaking fun when it's all finished up. Also, very last day of the Avalon King, 4th of July sale will be linked down below. Peace out, my friends. I'll see you guys tomorrow.